So right now we're standing inside of our booth in what we call the EVS Slam Dunk Experience where we invite those fans to come down and actually shoot some basketball hoops in a real life basketball court we've built on the booth. And as part of doing that, we have cameras surrounding the demo area so we can actually capture the person who's making those shots and we can show the different tools we do in a live environment for sporting events that EVS has powered for many decades now. And that experience extends from content being able to be reviewed by our new uh, product solution for referees and officials called Zebra as well as showing how we can take the data from a scoreboard in this experience area and show how we reveal that data in a very intelligent way through our FCO FX graphical tools for storytelling, through our Divi switcher for creative switching in a next generation of video switcher, and through our fancast tools for how we take content and deliver it in a very rapid way in sports stadiums and sports venues and deliver content to those fans on any screen and any display and their mobile phones in sporting venues today. Also at our booth, what we're showing this year is we have our, our broadcast center area of the booth where we're really showing the continuum of starting and, and showing how we solve the problems of broadcast centers of today. Whether that be a studio environment doing as live productions with multi-camera recording and how we speed the time of delivering content to editors to tell faster and better stories in the studio space. So at the show here we're launching our XS3 server which empowers a lot of the workflows in the broadcast center. Whether that's multi-camera studio production for rapid ingest and scheduling of content to enable editors to edit faster and tell their stories in a very rapid multi-camera fashion or all the way into our broadcast center for enabling the ingest or the playback of content for today's live productions. Extending upon the broadcast center this year, we're also taking those content tools and we're extending collaboration and uh, contribution into that tool set. So our CNEXT platform that we, we introduced here is how we bridge live event trucks and production centers back into the broadcast center and deliver content as well out to the broadcast sites. So the CNEXT platform gives us an enablement on the EVS tools to allow us to contribute content in an intelligent fashion, but bring monitoring and giving control over how that content is moved back and forth between sites to enable new storytelling and really creative live experiences. On our sports OB area of the truck, where we're showing the OB operations for live event production, we have an area where we're demonstrating our XT3 server that our traditional customers have been buying for the last few years and how we enable that server to be expanded upon with a license called Channel Max. So taking a baseline six channel server and extending it to 12 plus channels of operation. So when we look at dense modes of super motion cameras, that six channel server now becomes a 19 channel server allowing double super motion cameras to be recorded or it enables modes like dual LSM, where two operators can share the same server to get more flexibility and more power out of that investment that our customers have made. On the front of our booth, we're showing our IP for Live initiative, where us as EVS talk about how we've been using IP for the last decade to serve workflows and solve problems about content, how we enable new distribution of content to fans and in new revenue channels from that, and how we change the way production ecosystems leverage and use IP, as well as the topics of virtualization and using more off-the-shelf approaches. So part of the demo we're showing this year is how we're, we're demonstrating with the AIMS Alliance that we as EVS has joined to better promote and speed the time to development and the time of interoperability of open standards and protocols for doing the new IP-based ecosystems of tomorrow, for how we're connecting those live flows together between other uh, vendors, uh, for example, Grass Valley, Lavo, Imagine, Cisco, and Arista.